Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for today? Today I am bringing to you an update of my craft table. I have found in the past that when I add new things to my craft table and I don't tell you all where I got them or show you, I get flooded with questions in the comments section of each video asking where I've got what. And so this time I have learned my lesson and I have learned that maybe I should just do an update on my craft table, show you all the cool new fun items that I've picked up because I do like to switch up the back of my craft table every now and again, just because I feel like I get bored and maybe you all get tired of seeing the same things over and over again. And so from time to time, I do like to switch things up. And I just recently did a Big Lots shop with me and I gotta tell you, I found some amazing farmhouse decor that I just felt like I needed to add to my craft table because it was just so me and I loved it. And so after I did the shop with me, I did go back to Big Lots and I picked up a few items to add to my craft table. And there are some items that I am leaving on my craft table that you all have seen before in past videos, but still, I've gotten so many questions about them and so I am going to show you everything on my craft table today and I am going to tell you where I got everything and so hopefully that will answer your questions as to some of the things that you see in the background that you all seem to really like. And really quick, before I jump into everything on my craft table, I did receive some subscriber mail this week and so I wanted to take time to say thank you to those subscribers for the thoughtful and amazing mail that they sent to me. And the first piece of subscriber mail that I received is from Diana from Massachusetts. Thank you, Diana, so much. And she sent me a really, really nice letter that I absolutely loved. I thought that it was super sweet, everything that she had to say in here. And she also sent me a picture of a project that was inspired by one of my DIYs, and it turned out amazing. Thank you, Diana, so much for sending me mail. I absolutely love receiving mail, and I love that you sent me a picture of your project. It turned out amazing, and the flowers that you painted on there are absolutely beautiful. You have a definite talent. And I also received some mail from Peggy Nador from Florida. I hope I said your name correctly. And she sent me pocket mail, which was amazing. I love receiving that. I have received it a couple of other times and I love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. And although I don't personally do it, I love receiving it. So thank you, Peggy, so much. She sent me this beautiful note card with a beautiful letter enclosed. And I love that you love to travel. I think it is amazing. And I hope that someday when I retire and get to enjoy my last years with Jeff, that we get the luxury of traveling to all the places that we've wanted to travel to and we've never gotten the chance to. She sent me some rub off decal stickers. These are adorable. I am loving them. Definitely something that I can use in a DIY and this beautiful pocket mail, loving it on both sides. And I did see inside of the pocket mail that she sent me some chamomile tea. That is definitely something I am in need of to help me relax at night before I go to bed. So thank you so much. Thank you, Peggy, so much for sending this to me and thinking of me, it was so thoughtful and I absolutely appreciate it. And hopefully I will be using those transfers in an upcoming DIY really soon. Now let's jump into my craft table and let me show you all the updates on it. Alrighty, we are gonna start off over here with my mason jar lamp. This is a DIY that I did. If you have not seen this DIY, I will leave the link to this video in the description box below. These are LED white birch candles that were from Hobby Lobby that Allie got me for my birthday. And this is one that I get asked a lot about. And this is a wooden rustic farmhouse lantern. It is a solar lantern. It has lights in it, LED lights. And this was something that I actually found at Lowe's in their garden section about a month and a half ago. It came in three different sizes. 
This is the medium, and I also picked up the large here. I believe the large was $19.99 and the small was $12.99. I just recently found this blessed log at Big Lots and this was definitely something I needed in my life on my crafting table. Love, love, love this. And this blessed apple basket. Isn't that just so fun? I use the white and craft colored photo boxes that you can get from Michaels for storage. And in them, I store my twine. I've got two boxes of that. Burlap. Any rhinestones, jewels, and eyelets. And in these two down here are my Simply Earth essential oils that I keep in a dark place, in a cool dark place. These books here are journals of mine that I found at Michael's and these are what I write a lot of my ideas down in and I do journal and so that's what I keep here. Coming down here I have just my plastic baskets. I got these at Walmart and I picked them up at Walmart because I wanted this particular wicker type basket and I keep just notepads in here for when I want to write notes. I have camera storage gear in here for my GoPros. And I do keep my camera stuff in here because it's easy access. I use this stuff all the time, and so it's just easier for me to grab it out of these baskets than a container. I have more boxes down here where I keep my washi tape for my paper crafting, a box for subscriber letters that I really like and that I keep, and all of my glues that I use. And these lanterns here are lanterns that I get asked about all the time. I found these at Walmart in the garden section at Christmas time last year. They had them in three different sizes. They actually light up here by turning this knob and there are LED lights in there. The batteries are dead right now. I picked up two of those and I believe they were $9.99. Find your peaceful place. I found this in Mammoth. I've got my Bath and Body Works coffee candle here that I love. I love that you're my mom. Kayla found this in Mammoth and got it for me and I absolutely love that. My other lantern. I get asked about this beautiful owl all the time and this was in a silent auction in a basket that I won and it was a Michael basket. And I picked it because this owl reminded me of my mom. My mom loved owls and so I was hoping I would win it because I really loved the owl and so that was why I bid it on it and I ended up winning it. And I just picked up this piece of decor from Big Lots as well because I loved it and I knew that it would look great in the background of my videos for Harvest in Autumn. I picked up two of them just to add a bit of color and I just love the look. This farmhouse, barn, pasture, and outhouse, this was a gift from Allie for my birthday and she found this at Hobby Lobby. I also get asked about this hand tile all the time. This hand tile was a gift from Jeff for Christmas and uh, this is a Sid Dickens collectible tile and so this is something you can pick up on line somewhere. I'm not really sure where they sell Sid Dickens. I just know that there's a cool little shop here in our town that sells them and they are numbered tiles and they're collectibles and I love them. I have a file folder here that I keep my uh, planners in. I also picked up these cotton galvanized tin milk jugs. I picked up two of these and I got this at Big Lots as well. Just absolutely fell in love with this and had to have it. And this ceramic angel pig. I'm not much of a pig person, but this thing was just so stinking cute. I had to have it. And so I thought it would be an adorable piece to add to my table, even though you all don't see it in the videos. I just thought it was a fun piece to have. I've got more of my photo boxes, and here I've got this one for paper crafting. I've got one for my punches. I believe these two are empty right now, if you can believe that. And I think these two down here actually have Simply Earth oils in them. And I've got a couple more journals here that I haven't used. 
And I do have a bunch of storage here in my carts. I get asked about these carts all the time. I get asked how I did it. I really just spray painted each drawer with a beige Rust-Oleum uh, spray paint that had primer and paint in it that was good for plastic. And I also took all of the knobs off and spray painted them with an oil rubbed bronze. And the front that you see is just contact paper by duct tape that I found at Walmart that matched my spray paint color perfectly. And so I made a template and I cut out a template and just put it on the front of each of the drawers because these were once upon a time rainbow. And so it didn't really match well. It was a sore thumb. And so now I'm happy with them. I do have to touch up the paint from time to time because I am in them so much. And on the front of my table and underneath my table, yes, you see my mess of all the plugs that I have. Um, I just have stuff that I use for my videos and crafting. I have uh, gel pens and pencils on the top here. More of my organizers and planners because I use four of them. I've got all of my backdrops here that I use in my videos and Allie's videos. Uh, I've got my beeswax down here because I do so many essential oil DIYs and recipes using beeswax and I make my own homemade chapstick and so uh, I use beeswax quite often and that's something that I get off of Amazon. And I've got some empty containers down here. It's the paper containers that you can get from Michaels for under $2 when they're on sale. These are great and they fit in these storage things perfectly. And I will show you, I've got all my storage under here, paper cutters and more storage down here. And on this side underneath, I've got even more. I've got a storage bin for tape, for wood sticks, a wood burning tool set that I'm gonna bring to you here soon with DIYs, spray adhesives and two bins of washi tape that I now use. I had a rotating uh, washi tape bin, but it just, it wasn't working for this table. And so that's what, this is what I put my washi tape in now. And it works perfect. And for those of you who don't know, my crafting table and filming area is here in the central living area of my house. It's actually in our great room. I don't have a craft room. So this is what I've done to store my crafting necessities in such a small area. And this works for me. If you haven't seen my build on my craft table, I will leave that link in the description box below as well. And you can see everything that I've used and where I got it to put this together. And that there is the update of my craft table. It'll probably be like that for a couple more months, at least until Christmas time when some new Christmas decor comes out and I can add some fun festive Christmas decor to the background here. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that I answered a lot of your questions and I know sometimes you all do ask them and I don't always get back to you. And so that really was the purpose of this video today. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget, and bye for now, everybody. Bye.